Hello everybody, this is Adrienne with Ascension Soul Coaching. So, you all saw that we went out to the uh, memorial service for Lisa Marie Presley. Okay, so we had a great time this weekend. We went, I came in on uh, Saturday and I went to do the tour of uh, Elvis Presley's house, the Graceland and the uh, Elvis Presley complex, which is, has all of his uh, things from his career, from his army days, his cars. I mean, I was blown away. I'll show you some of the pictures. It was a lovely, a lovely weekend. And then, I, of course, we had the memorial service today, which is sat Sunday, the 22nd. We came out for music royalty, and we ended up seeing actual royalty. Duchess Sarah Ferguson was here, the Duchess of York. Uh, and she was a friend of Lisa Marie's and they used to call each other sis, so she says. And she says she's been with them for a long time as, as a friend. And I'm so happy she came out here, y'all, so I got to see royalty. I didn't get up close to her because they asked for people not to take pictures of respect Lisa Marie, not to take pictures of the family or of the, the famous guests, so I didn't. But uh, I did, uh, I'm gonna let y'all see what she said. She did a lovely little poem and she said some very lovely words to the children of Lisa Marie, and she also quoted the Queen. So I'm gonna let you hear what she said. You talked about the flames, and I think it's time that we all need to soak our flames within to do what Joel said, which was to celebrate this extraordinary uh, Lisa Marie. And I stand here with great honor uh, because we called each other sissy. And um, I've been with you, been with you all for all, all, all your lives, really, and uh, I stand here with great honor. But, uh, so, Sissy, this is for you with affection. My late uh, mother-in-law used to say that nothing can be said, can begin to take away the anguish and the pain of these moments, because grief is the price we pay for love. And how right she was. And today we talk about Lisa Marie. Uh, we look at Priscilla as a mother, as a mother to Lisa Marie. We look to Lisa Marie and say, you lost a son. Mothers losing children. It, there are no words for it. So today we talk about action. And action is the way we can go forward. We can light the flame. So for Riley, for Harper and Finley, and for the entire family, we march forward in support of you. All of us are with you, and we will help you as best you can. If you just put out your hand, we will be there. Or, well, I will definitely be there. All right. And did Lisa Marie's daughter just say that she has a daughter? Did Riley just say, during the, her, she had her husband read her speech to her mother, which was surprising. I assumed that maybe she was just taken over with grief and she couldn't do it. But she had her husband speak for her, but she was on the bulletin to speak. And she said, I'll let you listen to what he said, she said. A letter to my mama. Thank you for being my mother in this life. I am eternally grateful to have spent 33 years with you. I remember how it felt to be loved by the most loving mother I've ever known. I remember how safe it felt to be in your arms. I remember that feeling as a child and I remember it two weeks ago on your couch. Thank you for showing me that love is the only thing that matters in this life. I hope I can love my daughter the way you loved me. So if that's true, that means Lisa was a grandmother when she passed or did she just have the baby ass that she passed I'm not sure so that is something we need to peek into when are they going to come out with the baby because it's she said i can love my daughter like you love me she didn't say my child or my children she said my daughter so does that mean she had a baby already that is surprising so that means priscilla has something else to hold on to you know what they say sometimes when one leaves, another one comes. And so maybe this is an instance of that where 
Lisa left and now she's replaced by her granddaughter. But we shall see. We will stay tuned with that piece of information. What's the one thing you want people to know about Elvis? No, he, no, he's a, he's a real man. Yeah, you know, he like he loved everybody. Everybody. He grew up with one of us in a sense. Mm-hmm. That's it. I think so. I think so. How did you know them? I mean, like just because they were shopping there? Well, I I, I knew him before he started singing because he used to be, in North Memphis. He used to be mm -hmm. around a lot of black people. Mm-hmm. A lot of the black churches. Oh yeah. He'd get out there. Oh, okay. You would you would think he was one of us. I mean, I'm serious. That's what he said. People were am I black? Am I? <laughs> yeah. When he started out. That's that's where he was. Car, car last. I know. I heard about that in the houses yeah. and cars, and but they still think he was Man, racist. Going down Lamar one night, he had his family in the car, and, and he shot when he picked his car, and he ever gave him his car. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? And called the sheriff, and the sheriff gave him on. Wow, that's he nice. Paid him on. Did he for real? Wow. See, people don't know. He was a real deal. I'm, I'm he was a real deal. Have you ever been inside of Graceland? I, well, I came with his dad and mom. Oh, wow. You've been around a while. <laughs> you know, a little bit. But I just wanted you all to just see what a great time we had. So a lot of people out, probably not as much as could have come because of, you know, last minute, first of all, and second of all, it was cold and people thought it was gonna rain and, um, but, and it's not Elvis, but it was close enough. She was, she was royalty. She was part of the King's life. And um, so just want y'all to know, we had a great time. She was put away properly, beautiful service. So everything was great. I'm glad I came. And you know, I'm always gonna be that black girl who loves Elvis. So anyway, y'all have a great day. Talk to you later.